Rutgers as a college football player next year. The senior is 6'4", 225 pounds, co-captain, threw for 1,200 yards as a junior, 20 touchdowns, two picks all of last season. On the drop back here, stands tall in the pocket, firing deep downfield. This is Mark Webb. Touchdown, Archbishop Wood. And there's the other half of their Division I combination. Mark Webb was being recruited by the likes of Penn State, Rutgers, and North Carolina. Holes in the bomb, and it's a 58-yard scoring play for Archbishop Wood. One play, two touchdowns, if you think about it, on the score sheet there. Simple pass protection, Anthony Russo had all day, and Mark Webb, when you throw it up and you give him that much time, he's going to run under and catch it. Great play on both ends by the quarterback and the wide receiver. Dan Zanine boots through the extra point. And I'll tell you what, our statistician Bob Windheim is going to get some overtime pay today as we've got three touchdowns in the first two minutes of this football game. Again, Mark Webb, as you mentioned, going to Penn, uh, Penn State, North Carolina State, Rutgers, UNC. You're talking about big-time schools for the junior, and he just was able, his speed, just get to a, a little bit of a post route. Down in a long five at the 28-yard line as we begin the second quarter. Let's see what senior Anthony Russo could do. He looks, he floats it up on the right side, intending it for Mark Webb. Was he in bounds? He was. Touchdown, Wood. How about the timing? How about the touch by Anthony Russo and the catch by Mark Webb? This is throwing the ball in the window, and this is a quarterback and a wide receiver who know exactly where they're going to be. Russo just floats it onto that outside shoulder, and Mark Webb gets the foot down and gets in for the touchdown. Two guys who are going to be playing on Saturdays in the future, college football bound, Anthony Russo and Mark Webb hooking up. Russo, guns it, over the middle, complete, Gillespie, touchdown. Russo to James Gillespie, and another six for Archbishop Wood. Another, another quarter he heard from here tonight, James Gillespie gets in on the act. Simple pattern, simple pattern when you look at the formation, it's two wides on the right side, two on the left, and it's just a matter of spreading the field and allows a seam for Gillespie, catches the ball at the five and goes in for the touchdown. So uh, what has been a busy Dan Zanine, the kicker, the junior sends it through. He is seven for seven on extra points. And with 8.42 left in the third, the lead goes to five touchdowns. And this is a matter of Quite honestly, Anthony Russo doesn't have to look at a second receiver. That play is so quick, so timed, and the, re the result is just hitting the right spot. And James Gillespie hit in the right spot. Quarterback, and, and Anthony, when you look at it, so much of this offense changes. Jarrett McClinton, no, not the running back behind you this year, but how much more responsibility do you think is on you as the quarterback of this team this year? Um, I have a great res uh, responding cast around me. I mean, we have a bunch of young guys stepping up, a couple transfers coming in that have played key roles for us. Um, but I think that I just have to do my job. And as a quarterback, it's just my role to keep everyone in position and make sure everyone's got the job that they have to do and just kind of taking control of everyone. But we have a lot of guys that are stepping up and, and doing well. So we should be fine this year. Does your job change at all? Because last year, a lot of, again, mm -hmm. focus on the, on the running game. But now that you're more, in, more to centerpiece, um, are you allowed maybe to take more risk a little bit with the football or what? Coach Devlin definitely gives me um, a little bit more comfort room this year. Um, I have a year under my belt, so a couple of check plays at the line, stuff like that, depending on coverages. Um, but I think my big role this year is more of a leader. Uh, we had Ryan Bates and Jay Cooper and McClinton and all those guys last year, and they were the big leaders. But this year it's time for me and, and our other captains, Max Schwartz and Sebastian Silva, to all step up and kind of fill in those roles that Coop and Bates and them had as, as leaders for this team. Do you guys feel like when you come into a season like this that you wear kind of a target because you've won you know, three state titles out of four years? Absolutely. We know that we have a target on our back, but we love playing with a target on our back. Uh, we love having teams trying to come and take us down. Um, it's just kind of a chip off our shoulder that we know that every team's going to come into our house or we're going to go into their house and they're going to try and top us off. So um, kind of having that target on our back is something we're used to and something we love to have here at Wood.
All right, we see the swag with Rutgers on top here. So why Rutgers? What was it about Rutgers that attracted you to them? Um, I took plenty of college visits, but um, the more I went to Rutgers, the more I realized it was a it was a home type place for me. It was a home away from home. Um, and I'm real close with my family. Um, so for them to be able to come up, if they want to watch a practice or they just want to come visit me on a weekend or they can come to every single game, that's just something I loved. And I fell in love with the coaching staff there with Coach Flood and Coach McDaniels. I have great relationships with all of them, and I think I fit into their offense well. So that was just really why I chose it. And Archbishop Woods had a little bit of a pipeline mm -hmm. in the Rutgers. Is that something that, that drew you, that there have been guys who have gone there and, and had success? Absolutely. Uh, when I was making my decision, I talked to Nick Arch up there and, and Desmond Peoples, and they just told me about what it's like to be a student athlete at Rutgers because really you're only playing football for a couple months around the year. Other than that, you're a student full time. So they were telling me about what it's like to be a life of a student, um, and that was something really cool to hear. Anthony Russo is also a great pitcher. Football, or, uh, it could get drafted. Football or baseball, if it comes to that. Uh, football has always been my number one love. I love baseball, but football has always been my number one. Anthony Russo, quarterback, Archbishop Wood, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Back to you, John. All right, our cover.